Hello everyone, my name is Brian Locke, and probably my biggest contribution to the YouTube making community is one I've never actually made a video about. It's my Arduino YouTube API library. It's a library for fetching your live subscriber count from the YouTube API directly on a Wi-Fi enabled Arduino such as an ESP8266 or an ESP32. It's something I'm really proud of because people have been able to use it to make some really cool and interesting projects. There's even a few YouTubers that I follow who have used it to make themselves subscriber counters. Even at one stage I came across a group of woodworking YouTubers who were challenging each other to make subscriber counters and I thought this was great. This was exactly what I wanted to happen in terms of I wanted to make it nearly as easy to fetch your YouTube subscriber stats as to blink in LED. But these are soon going to break. So it is the end of July when I'm recording this video and YouTube are about to bring in a change in August. I don't know exactly when in August, but in August they've said that they're going to make changes to how subscriber counts are shown on people's channels and they are also going to make the change to the API. So currently my subscriber count reads A361 whenever they make this change it's going to read A300 so they're going to round down and it'll round down differently based on what level you're on at the moment. A change like this will basically render these subscriber counters useless. They'll give a general indication to what level you're at but you really won't know. So just to be clear this number isn't going away it will still be available to you in the creator studio page but it will not be publicly available anywhere and won't be available through the API. And I actually think that's a really big pity. As we've seen from the examples, people were able to make really interesting things out of them and it's unfortunate, but they'll be going away. But before they do, I decided I wanted to give them one final farewell. So I hope you enjoy. Seeing as these are all gonna be shitty pretty soon, it seems to make the most sense to start with the one I made for Simone Yetch. So this is her light bulb symbol from the start of her video, drawn on a 64 by 64 matrix. And when it fetches her subscriber count, a little truckla drives in and drags it behind it. So that is a 47 by 17 pixel image of a truckla. I think it is replicates it perfectly. I'll quickly show you how it's built now. So it's using a 64 by 64 matrix. It's using my D1 Mini 32 breakout board with a ESP32. And that's pretty much it. Then I have these 3D printed stands that really aren't for this display, but I had them, so I made them work. I don't know why you'd want them, but code and links to the parts are all in the description. Next, we'll move on to the subscriber counter I made for PewDiePie. So this is the same kind of display I use for Simone, except it's a 64 by 32 matrix panel. And I can hear what you're saying. Brian, other than the little bro fist, this doesn't look that special. It just changes the same way as any other thing. It's just that plain old subscriber counter. Oh yeah? I know this joke isn't relevant anymore, but I've had this idea ever since it was relevant and I thought it was kind of cool, so I left it in. Just to quickly go over it again, so it's using a 64 by 32 matrix, my D1 Mini 32 matrix board. Just to show how long I've been thinking about this stupid idea, I designed the Mi Tiny Pico matrix breakout in March and it has servo pins broken out for the same reason too. It uses a 17 kg servo, these things are insane and it also has a 3D printed stand. The stand even has PewDiePie's name on it, but I kind of designed it wrong. I didn't allow for the weight of when it was standing over, so I just glued it to the table. We'll take a change of pace for the next one. It's not using a matrix. It uses an ESP8266 with a Bluetooth module flashed with HID firmware. Video on how to do that there. And this is a subscriber counter for Evan Kale. This has to be the stupidest one of the whole lot. So it'll show up on your phone or your computer as whatever you call the module. I called mine board. And what it does is basically every minute it connects to the YouTube subscriber API, gets the subscriber count, and it will 
type it into your phone or computer. Yeah, how useful is that? Evan? Hey, Brian. How are you? I'm fine. What are you doing here? Oh, I live here now. Don't mind me. You live in my closet? Why? Well, you know, I do downsizing. Anyway, what's this subscriber counter you're working on? Uh, it's actually kind of dumb. It uses the Bluetooth HID modules and types out your subscriber count into the connected device. Do you want to see it? Oh, I don't need one. It's something like 520-124. Wow, that's right. How did you know? I made a bet with one of them that whenever someone hits the subscribe button, then I would have to... Them. Okay. Right, Evan. I have to go. Uh, talk to you again. What a strange guy. Speaking of guy, this is the one that I made for Drew Gooden. So it accurately reflects the number of channels there are on YouTube and shows how many little stinkers he has following him. If for some crazy reason you want to build this one, it's wired the exact same as Simone's one. Next up, before he was glitter bombing package thieves he worked for NASA, it's Mark Rober. So this is just his symbol and Actually, a lot of people have this light bulb symbol, and we're going to see another one in a few minutes too. But because Mark is into retro kind of stuff, I'm not sure how into retro stuff he is. I know he likes Mario, so maybe. I thought I'd use the same library from my Wi-Fi Tetris clock video to draw out his subscriber account. You might notice there's a little white line over on the bottom right, I have no idea what that is. It's not in the other version that doesn't have the Tetris animation library, and I couldn't figure it out, so yeah, it's there. The next one is probably my favorite one. It is for our fellow Irish YouTuber, Real Engineering. It is his symbol 3D printed out. It has LEDs backlighting it, so it shines against the blueprint background. And it has a seven segment display that shines through the background displaying his subscriber count. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy with how this came out. This is one of the nicest things, or most polished things, I think I've ever built. And it's a real pity that in a couple of days, it's going to be broken. What do you think of it, Brian? This is brilliant. Oh, thanks, Brian. The mount for this project is a 5 euro ribba frame from IKEA. Technically, it uses two because I'm using the back panel of two of them. It's based on an ESP8266 Wi-Fi 7 segment, the same as I showed at the start. The one on the left is just the screen only and is using I2C. And the lights are powered just directly from the 5 volts and then the USB is just a USB extension cable. The effect for the display is achieved by cutting out a section of the card and pushing the display right up against the paper. As mentioned, the symbol is 3D printed and is available on Thingiverse if you want to try it yourself. And the lights are just a regular 5 volt strip of LEDs glued to the back. I didn't take photos of this, I don't know why. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Graphic Tiles based in Athlone and Mullingar. They sponsored the blueprint page that I used for this project and that's because I've somehow found myself in the scenario where I could print this in 3D in colour but I can't print it on paper. Speaking of 3D printing, Ivan Miranda is up next. He builds crazy things and this does not do him justice whatsoever, but I lack time and creativity. So this is an animation library that I created that kind of imitates the effect of 3D printing. So that is another light bulb symbol. I need to get one of those. And it drawed it out 
and now it is drawing out his subscriber account. You can't talk about 3D printing YouTubers without talking about some of the original guys, 3D printing nerd on the left, Maker's Muse on the right. I've been subscribed to these guys for over three years, and I'm pretty sure both of them were under 10k when I subscribed to them. They're still putting out great stuff, so this is my little homage to you guys, I guess. Again, this is the exact same wiring as Simone's one. This is obviously is using different code, but that's also still on the GitHub page, and you're welcome to use it for anything you want. The next one up is for a YouTuber called The Odds One Out, and he had a really famous video series on when he worked for Swoobway. So I decided I'd make him a Swoobs counter. This one looks a little bit better in person, but it doesn't look great. The colors are just too bright and close to each other. I thought maybe diffusing with a page would help. It did not. Last but not least is probably my favorite Matrix display one, it's Mr. Beast subscriber count. I originally planned to make this his view count because he's all about the views, but the API only updated the views maybe once every 15 minutes, so it was kind of crap. Just because it's a little bit different than the other ones, let's take a look at the wiring. It uses two 64 by 32 Matrix panels, he uses an ESP32 on my breakout board. The P-out connector of my breakout board is connected to the output of the second screen and then the output of the first screen is connected to the input of the second screen. This was a really dumb idea. It took a huge amount of time and these could break as soon as tomorrow. But I had a lot of fun making it so it's not all wasted I guess. I'd be interested to know which ones were your favorites, or if you were making subscriber counters for different YouTubers, what ideas would you do? If you want to check out my last video, you'll see it here, and if you want to check out the one YouTube thinks you should watch next, you'll see it there. That's it from me, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.